All right, YouTube, what's good? I'm back. I got another video for you guys already. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Juice World type beat in honor of his new song just dropping, Bandit, featuring NBA Young Boys. So I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how I go about making a, a guitar beat like that in that type of style. So I'm pretty much just going to make this short and sweet. I'm going to use a loop and everything, and then I'm just going to show you guys how to lay down the drums and how I'd mix it and master it. So. Let's get after it. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna start out using a loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna head over to my loop kit, late September. Definitely gonna be using this right here. So if I send you guys loops, you should probably already know that when I send them, I have each instrument separated just by each piece right here. I'll show you guys how I do it. So you got the whole loop right here. I'll let you guys listen to what that sounds like. So pretty cool. I think it's got a little Juice World vibe to it. But so what I'm gonna do is start out by just chopping this up. So here's the first instrument, which is just the guitar. Second instrument is this little like lead guitar. Third instrument, I believe, is also some kind of lead. And then here's a piano. Here's that little vocal I added. And here's the bass. So what I'm going to do is just cut them all. All right, so I'm going to start out by doing two things here. So I got the intro laid out. So basically, it just starts out with the guitar and the piano without the vocals and then it goes into the guitar with the vocals and the bass right here. So when I'm making a beat, the first two things I always do is on the master put a soft clipper and I have a melody bus where everything's routed to. I throw an EQ on there and just cut around anywhere from like 158 to 200 hertz. Just so there's no mud with your 808. Alright and then I'm going to head over to the part where I actually want to start the drums, highlight this area and drag the pattern into the playlist. All right, and then so my first tip for the drums is sound selection. You want to be picking out sounds that already sound good. So I'm going to be using all the drums for my kit. If you guys are interested in that, hit the link in the bio. It's still available. Only 10 bucks. So I'm going to just go through here and try and find some sounds that I like to hear with this. So, so far I'm liking how that sounds together. So, I mean, it's pretty much just, I'm just gonna add an 808 now. And then after that, I'll show you guys how I'd go about mixing the drums. So when you're doing your 808, I got a few tips. So if you don't know the key of the song, 
just play it in a higher octave until it sounds right and just play it by ear. But if you do, then I mean, it's pretty obvious. You just play it literally the root note of the sample, which is what I'm gonna do because I already know the, the key of the song. So normally I wouldn't add a kick with this 808, but I'm kind of feeling like there should be a little more punch. So what I'm going to do is just grab a rack kick or this one that I remade right here and just throw that over top the 808. So what I'm going to do here is copy the 808 pattern. Control C, go to the kick, hit Control V, and then Alt K. And this is the uh, piano roll limiter slash transposer. And this will just bring all the notes to C. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I pretty much laid the, all the drums out, so now I'm going to show you guys how to mix them. So first thing I start out by doing is grabbing all of the active mixer tracks and bringing them all the way down. Then I'm going to start out with the 808. I usually bring my 808 to about minus 3 decibels. I'm also going to EQ it a little bit because there's, there's a little like clicky sound I don't like in here. And then since there's a kick in here, I'd go with the kick next. And this you want a little louder than the 808, so I'll probably have it at zero. So I actually have the kick going above zero right now. It's about plus three decibels, but that doesn't matter because I got the soft clip around the master. So next I'd probably go with the clap. Then I'd do any perks. And then finally the hi-hat, which you want to just pretty much sit above, or like right in the middle of everything else. All right, so that's sounding good to me, and now I'll show you guys how to bring the melodies up. So I'll highlight all of them and just start bringing them up. You basically want them to sit under the drums so they're still loud enough, but you don't want the melody to overtake them. And that 
sounds perfect to me, so that, that's pretty much it. Now I just add my little master sauce, which is oops, not that, right here, which is just literally this EQ that cuts 20 hertz just to get rid of that energy that you can't really audibly hear. Soft clipper and a parametric EQ with uh, just the highs boosted a little bit. So, I mean, like I said, I, I keep it pretty simple. So, I mean, that's literally it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new. If you want to hear how this beat turned out, listen for after the video, and you'll hear that. That's all I got for you guys right now. I'll see you later. Peace out. What up, Q?